What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Now at this point, I couldn't tell you what this game is. I mean, I feel it, it's not a DVD size case. It's like a double den jewel case thickness of game, I guess. There's so many games that I have either pre-ordered through a limited release company or Amazon or eBay, I couldn't tell you. Who knows if I'm ever gonna get that stuff, but okay. All right, I know what this is. Okay, this is the Super Dimension Fortress Macross Do You Remember Love? Yeah, it's the, the game that's pretty much based on the anime. Now, this was a really cheap game. This was, God, I wanna say this was $17 on eBay shipped uh, from Japan. Now, I have noticed as of late, a lot of shipping from Japan is either at the minimum like $15 or $20. I don't know why that is. I don't know why shipping's more expensive right now. I'm sure it has something to do with the virus, but at the time, this was $17. Now, I ordered this game so long ago that I actually got a refund on it. <laughs> Uh, you know, I did. It was like three months ago that I ordered it. So just recently, I was like, "Hey, I didn't get the game. The guy gave me a refund, and then magically the game showed up one day. So if I'm able to pay the guy seventeen dollars, I don't have a problem doing that. And that's probably something I'll do when I'm done editing this video. But uh, yeah, packaging, you know, pretty cool. Kind of weird that this is a double disc game. This is a shooter, and it's on two discs now. From what I know about this game, it's segments of gameplay, kind of, and segments of anime or you know, clips and cutscenes from the movie and stuff like that. But, you know, pretty cool and, you know, pretty good deal for $17 in my opinion. These are a couple of games that are in the Macross, uh, you know, series of games that I actually have. I don't have all of them, but this one right here, Macross Scrambled Valkyrie for the Super Famicom. This is, God, this is like one of my top three shooters of all time. And yeah, I'm putting it up there with games like, uh, like Dead on Pachi and Crimson Clover and stuff like that. And this one's just, it's mediocre at best, but uh, Robotech The Macross Saga, pretty decent shooter on the Game Boy Advance. As far as quality goes, it's probably a little bit better than Do You Remember Love? But uh, it's also another game you can find cheap on the Game Boy Advance, but don't try to find it complete or, or new. It's gonna, it's gonna cost you. So what are my thoughts on Macross? Do you remember love? Do I recommend this game? Well, I, I do, if you can find it at or under the $20 price point. Now, I feel like if you pay any more than $20, you should you should just download it and burn a copy for yourself, assuming you have like a pseudo cart or a modded Saturn. But any more than $20, you're going to feel like you bought like a tech demo or something like that because there's segments of gameplay that's, let's face it, it's mediocre at best. I'm calling a spade a spade here. And then there's segments of anime cutscenes that are directly from the movie, which... I feel like if you're a Macross fan, this is probably an amazing experience for you, but if you're not, you're going to want to skip through all those anime cutscenes, or unless you're a weirdo like me, I like watching them, but there's also CGI cutscenes that weren't in the original film. I guess they made them specifically for this game, and I guess the PlayStation release? I don't know. If you know anything about that, let me know in the comments down below. But this did come out on the Sega Saturn mid-year of 97, and there was a port to the Sony PlayStation two years later, so I guess mid-year of 1999. And this actually released on Blu-ray. So there's a Blu-ray of this movie. I saw copies on eBay. They were like $30. And speaking of anime, this is random as shit, but there's an anime called Gunsmith Cats. It's like a real small series of, of animes. You know, they had like maybe five or six episodes, something like that. Awesome, awesome anime. It's on YouTube, but there was actually a Kickstarter for a Blu-ray release of Gunsmith Cats. I saw them for sale online. They're forty dollars, so I'm, I'm probably gonna pick one of those up. I'm, guys, if you like anime at all, especially like that '90s shit, I'm telling you Gunsmith Cats. You know, and L.A. Guns. That's another good one. Definitely check both of those out. Gunsmith Cats and L.A. Guns. Anyways, Macross, do you remember Love? A game that I recommend at around the $20 price point. And the way shipping is now, especially ordering stuff from Japan, you may pay a little more if you do. Just bite the bullet because everybody's paying more for shipping from Japan. But if you pay any more than $20, uh, again, you might want to just burn your own copy. Anyways, guys, till next time. Peace out.